Yo. Stop, 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 stop. Huh? Oh, he said saw, 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 saw. Like, what's up? <sighs> Mother f <laughs> What happened? You good? You need help? <laughs> I got it. Laurel's doing really well. I'm proud of her. Yeah, she is. She's picking up quickly. Are you recording? Yep. Is anybody else in here? Is it just you and me? I think it's just us, man. Word. What's yeah. up, blockheads? Leaving the park. New episode. Me and Bagger Bro. I haven't at all. That's a great intro. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, uh, officer. Full stop. It's cool, we're good. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Oh. I <laughs> see you. <laughs> <laughs> Picked up that one from you. Oh, man. Shenanigans. Fire. What's up, bud? I love this, man. Motorcycles is like moving here from California. I didn't know anybody, dude. Yeah. And now and, you know all these people. Man, this is great. Oh, yeah. I really, I mean, I really feel bad for all the nor northerners that, you know, have seasonal riding. Dude, for sure. Like, that would drive me crazy. Alan, you're in our thoughts and prayers. Right. Alan and Jessica. <laughs> They'll be down here, though, right? Yeah, in like um, two months or so, if hopefully everything blows over. True, true, yeah. A day like this, it makes me like feel like everything's gonna be all right yeah man yeah it reinstills hope yeah dude for real yeah it makes you realize like shit isn't actually as bad as it seems right i mean i'm not gonna go to any concerts or anything yeah. for a while but, but i mean you, uh, can, you can still enjoy yourself like with people you just gotta ride motorcycles maybe, right. maybe motorcycle sales will go up shit right yeah, I don't know. great way to be outside and still be with people all right uh, that's why we got to keep doing this. Yeah, for you sure. You know, man. keep riding and people like, they're outside like, oh, look it, they're having a good old time. Oh, they're, they're kind of keeping their distance, and, you know. So, recording a new episode, right? You saw the Anna right. and Aaron one. People oh, got yeah. To, people got to know Anna and Aaron. The happily married couple? The happily married couple, Anna and Aaron, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, they're good people. So, I had a lot of requests yeah. for Eric, Bagger Bro. Who's that? That's you. Really? Yeah, man. I mean, oh. you're, you're a staple of the channel. Oh, we go to so. places and people recognize you, and then they recognize oh. me. <laughs> oh, man. Because you're always in the videos. What's up, bagger bro? Or, I mean, <laughs> what's up, blockheads? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, man. Bagger heads. <laughs> bagger heads. So, um. What's up? Yeah, I figured in a uh, attempt to let people get to know you a little better, could kind of tell the story of... How you got into motorcycles, where you're from, how we met, all that. Oh, all right. It was 1986. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I'm Cuban, American, born in Los Angeles, so I speak Spanish, but it sounds like I'm Mexican, right? Huh. So I'm all kinds of messed up. Island Mexican. What's, all right, island Mexican. And I guess so, I was told by my father that my grandfather was a highway patrolman in Cuba back in the day. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like in my blood to ride. Oh, he was a highway yeah. patrolman on a on a bike. On a on a Harley back in Cuba, back in like the forties. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, he he that that uh, ended quickly when he went over a crest and hit a horse. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, he didn't die, but like he stopped riding after that. And he joined. He was in the Cuban military. Blah blah blah. Anyway, fast forward. My old man used to ride a dual sport back in the seventies, and he busted his ass a few times, so he quit riding. And then like uh, here I am. You know, I started riding back in 2008. My first bike, I had a GSXR 1000, a 2001. Um, bought out Craigslist for like three grand. Didn't have any insurance. You know, squidding it out. Eesh. Didn't really. Yeah, I didn't really, at the time, uh, Orlando forums was real hot. They didn't have Instagram or anything like that, or Facebook. Well, did they have Facebook? I guess, but no one really cared about that. <laughs> anyway. And like, now still, nobody really cares about it still. <laughs> true, true that, true that. So, I rode, um, I had a pretty bad accident on it. Uh, it was actually going to Leesburg Bike Fest, we were taking some back roads, and uh, a bike in front of me, actually, like, in a turn, slowed down. I was still a new rider. And so I freaked out, and instead of like just going next to him, I, you know, I panic stopped 
and I went off the road in the in the turn and I wrecked. I broke three ribs and I almost broke my neck. Jesus. Uh, so you locked up your brakes, went off the road. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I uh, locked up the front brakes and I, I low sided. I went over the bars, face planted in the gravel, and uh, the bars jabbed me <laughs> in the side. Jeez. Funny note though, yeah. I mean, I got up. My bike was in the in the bushes, and my buddy my buddy took the bike. Like uh, they were following me in their in their Mustang, him and his girlfriend. And he picked up my bike and like dusted it off. He's like, "Can you ride?" I'm like, "Nah, man, my side hurts really bad." So I rode in the car. And like he rode my bike home, it was still rideable. Rode it home, we dropped the bike off, and like on the way home, his girl's like, Eric, she's like, she's like, did you did you fall in some poop or something? <laughs> I was like, oh, there's maybe some dog, <laughs> some dog uh, stuff or something. I don't know. What happened was, I guess the bars jabbed me in the stomach, pushed so hard that it kind of like, you know, squeezed the hand sanitizer out. You know what I mean? <laughs> That ain't, that's the opposite of hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that's the, you know, to lighten it up, parked the bike at home. I cleaned up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then uh, went to the Leesburg Bike Fest. I test rode a Can-Am with broken ribs. Right? I got really drunk. Uh, I'm not proud of saying that, but the pain <laughs> was nasty. Oh, yeah. Next day, I couldn't get out of bed. Like, I had to go to Central Care, and, like, they did, you know, a bunch of x-rays. Like, oh, you got three broken ribs. You sprained your neck your shoulder blah 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 and i don't know it took it took three months of little sleep and a little bit of crying and lots of painkillers to to heal because you can't you can't put a you can't you know cast your ribs you just have to let it heal yeah so you have to be careful with that anyway i stopped riding for a few years after that i sold the bike and then you know the, once you got the bug it, it's it's never going away yeah so like there's, a, there's so many people that post up and they say you know I just got into a wreck, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking forward to starting to ride again whenever I heal up. Right. Now, I, I kind of just like, at that time, I was like, uh, it's not worth me losing my job. You know, if I get hurt, take, you know, lose too much time, you know, they let you go. Yeah. I was like, it wasn't worth it. But, you know, a couple years went by and it just hit me. I was like, you know what? Screw that. I was like, I miss riding. But let me, let me do something a little more chill than a sport bike. Yeah. It was something a little more comfortable. And that's when I bought the, the Dyna Fat Bob. At the time, it was what I could afford. I mean, it was a used 2014 Dyna Fat Bob with 120 miles on it. What? Like, it was a brand new bike, it but it was Yeah, used. barely used. Yeah. I the person right. bought it and did nothing to it. Yeah. Right, pretty much. So, I rode that, and then I met you. Um, I was at work on YouTube, messing around a little bit on a, on a weekend, and I uh, came across your channel. And, you know, I hit you up. I'm like, oh, I just got back into biking. Uh, we should link up and go for, like, a group ride or something. So, sure enough, we linked up at Orlando Harley. Yep. And, like, I'm a, you know, we walked up to each other. I'm like, bro, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know you. And, sure enough, uh, you used to work out a shooting range yep. that I would go to. You and Anthony. Yeah, me and Anthony, yep. Yep. So, I was like, oh, well, this makes it easy. Right? It's like, well, I know you like guns. I like guns. I know you like bikes. Hey. I like bikes. Uh, perfect, <laughs> Did we just perfect. become best friends? I think we just became best friends, for <laughs> yeah. sure. One thing led to another. We went on a Key West trip, and I had my Dyna. I'm a big boy. Uh, it came down to it. I was like, after that tri trip, I was like, I need a better bike. Yeah. Or not a better bike, bigger bike. And financially, I was in a better place. So I traded in my Dyna, and I got this... I got Amy right here, my uh, Road King Special. Silverback. Silverback, Amy, good gorilla. And then, yeah. And the rest and is riding. history. The rest is history. I bought this bike in 2018. So over two years now, I got 27,000 miles on it. I bought a brand new, gotta go on a ride. Very therapeutic. So tell us about your bike. All right, I got um, the 2018 Road King Special, 107 cubic inch. I wish I, wish I waited one more year and got the 114, but you know, it's all right. 124 kit will fix that later. Lucky Dave's 15 inch uh, T bars, Memphis Shades uh, Road Warrior with a 15 inch screen. I got my Plex Audio, Joker Machine floorboards, Rigid Industries like fog lights. I got those came off my truck. A little switch right there on the just off the neck. Yeah, oh, right here. Yeah. yeah. Little eBay switch. Nothing special. I forgot what these uh, these guards are called, to be honest. Power, power mat or something? Yeah, uh, yeah, power mat or mad power uh, brush guards. They help a little bit in the cold weather. You said the quick shifter, right? The quick shifter. 
the quick I think it's called heel quick or quick shift some dude in Australia put me on it nice. and it works great and the stage or right, I got a plus I got a the fueling uh it's, it's a, it'd be considered a stage two or stage three what, the, I don't know. the cam with the, the uh yeah the oil pump and I guess it's like a stage two right yeah stage two all right it's a fueling race kit it's got the, I got the the fueling 465 uh, cam. I got the race oil pump cam plate. Uh, the new lifters and then the solid push rods. I'm a big fan of solid push rods. I don't like adjustables. Yes, you were a big advocate for solid push rods. We've gotten yeah. into many a debate about this. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, the other ones, are, the, the adjustables are cool, but uh, they, they work. And then I got a uh, Vanson Heights air intake, Basani Road Rage 3. I love it. Basani shout out, best exhaust around. Yeah, and you went with the short, shorter bags. Oh yeah, um, I got hooked up with these shorter bags. I'm not a fan of like, yeah, the, like the cuts extended and the stuff. Ones, yeah. yeah, nah, that's not for me. Yeah. I guess that's it, and I got these awesome, uh, these grips that you recommend, that you can get them from your Amazon. What are they again? Arlen Ness. The Arlen Ness grips, yeah. yeah. Oh, and shout out to Flo, Flo Motorsports. I love their levers. I'm oh, sorry, big dog, you can't yeah. have these. <laughs> yeah, they got some, they got some, yeah, like, they don't make them for the soft tails or the dinas or anything. They, it's weird, man, it's like sportsters are touring. Yeah, I, that's kind of weird. They should totally jump on that. Right? Like, I mean, they're missing out on a huge market. Because I was looking at them, I'm like, what the hell? Why don't they make them for my bike? Right. Oh, well, I got those Lucky's, I mean, Lucky's Speed got, Shop. <laughs> those yeah. are sweet. I mean, if... The trick 11s. I was going to get those until I came across these guys, and, yeah. like, I like the thinness of these. Yeah, they're yeah. nice, man. I like them. They feel really good, too. The finish on them is really great. Especially like having the hydraulic clutch. Yep. It's a stiffer clutch. Something about this being thinner makes it easier for me to grab yeah, and like pull like the, in. The leverage. Yeah. Phys uh, I get more physics, yo. A little physical science. Math and science. <laughs> science good. Math and science levers. Yeah. So, uh, What's up? yeah, going back to like whenever, like you reached out to me talking about wanting to do like a ride and like. Right. I think I my I, I've ridden with like one other person one time before because I was just new into riding too. Right. Back in my Iron Eight Eighty Three days, and right. uh, so we went on a ride, and that was like you and David and Wandy and uh, Ron. Yeah. No. Uh, and Matt. I think Matt was there too. Was Matt there? Matt okay. was there, and one. Uh, not one. V Ron. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Javi. His name. Javi two. Javi. Well, yeah, I guess we're calling him two point now. Yeah, he's 2.0. Javi V-Rod. Javi V-Rod, we'll call him. Yeah, so uh, it was, it was like, David. Like, that was my first time riding with a big group. Right, yeah, that was that, that was kind of like our first group ride, right? Yeah, man. Man, and that was what, three over three years ago now. It's crazy. Amazing. Crazy to think Amazing. about, like, time flies. Time flies well, when you're riding bikes. shenanigans between now and then. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's what I was saying. All your new subscribers, they need to take it back because there's a lot of awesome content. What's up, girl? There's a lot of awesome content from uh, back in the day. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just that was back in like the 10,000 subscriber. We were hustling hard. <laughs> Dude, I still hustle hard. Oh yeah, we're not. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not that you're not for sure. Ow. Yeah, I oh. mean, it was, it was. I mean, a lot different. It felt a lot different. Like it's easier now. I feel like. But uh, yeah, man. Like we had like a 10,000 subscriber scooter ride back then, and. Oh yeah, and we rode by there uh, on your on our last video. The Disney cops versus <laughs> what? Micro's video. <laughs> oh man, they they man, he made me lock up my rear brake. How dare he? Did he? Yeah. Damn. Because I like, restopped and I'm like, what's going on? I stopped and the guy's yelling and I'm like, he's like he's like pointing and I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, we're going that way. Yup. Yeah. Like, what was he I, even trying to? Dude, I don't even know, big dog. <laughs> like what? <laughs> What are you trying to say? I'm on a, I'm on a heart. What? <laughs> yeah, right? Like, wrap, wrap your face. Yeah, he was probably like, get out. Get right? the f out. <laughs> hey, is Laurel on her bike today? She is, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, Shiza, look at that. Yeah, it's her own bike. 883's chilling right now in the garage today? Yep. Oh, okay. 
I just realized that. Hey, dude. Yeah, you're talking about, like, what are you going to do for content over the next however long? Dude, I got I got parts in for the 883 that have been sitting in a cabinet for so long. I got I got to put forward controls on them. Got to do a video on that. People want, like, a big bore kit on that thing, so I can do that. So much shit to do, dude. So, oh, yeah, so if you guys obviously want to go, like, follow Eric, he does have Instagram, YouTube, at Bagger Bro. So, yeah. link down in the description below. Check him out. As people on my channel say, he's very knowledgeable, very helpful, but on his channel, he's a drunk idiot. So, <laughs> what was that one comment that that guy said? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, nah, man. It's just, I do that, I do that to make people laugh, man. A lot of the times, I'm not even that drunk. Or as, long as, you, as long as you're being safe. Yeah, dude. I'll Uber. I'm not scared of a little bit of Uber or Lyft. Any closing words? Um, we're all gonna get through this coronavirus, everybody. Keep on riding. We gotta keep our, you know, our, uh, you know, our cycle gears and our revzillas and our get lowers and, you know, everybody who sells us our parts, all our, our dealerships. We gotta keep them moving. We can't have them shutting down. It's getting harder and harder for everybody to, you know, there's less and less riders these days with the new Gen Xers and the Millennials. Not so we got to keep all these boys open for business. Yo. You know, ride your bike, but also mod your bike, because that's part of the fun. Make it your own, yeah. Yo. And for all those people that are scared of uh, manual transmission, go check out the How to Ride videos. It explains it very thoroughly. Exactly. It shows you from the very beginning, all the way to like shifting, you know, downshifting, a little bit of rev matching. But yeah, it's right. fun, man. Because once you open that up, boom, it opens up all this riding with friends and the camaraderie and good Heck times. Yeah. Well, I love, I live for this. Like, I go to work, but when I get out, all I want to do is ride with my people. Yep. Yeah. Can confidently say motorcycles changed my life. I mean, I wouldn't have met anybody here actually had it not been for motorcycles, except maybe. No, I wouldn't have even met Wes and Laurel because the channel helped me, helped me pay for my house. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I want to sound like a little punk bitch, but I got a couple of tears in my eyes right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, a little bit. I'm a Pisces, okay? Uh, Leave uh, me alone, bro. Overall <laughs> message: You guys get out there and ride, man. Woo! It's great, great way to social distance, yet still have some camaraderie. All right. All right. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. <laughs> oh, green light. Hit subscribe, hit that bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe. Stay vigilant, wash your hands, stop buying toilet paper. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.